Left corner three is no good by Carius. And Keegan Murray takes it the other way for the Hawkeyes. Spinning in the lane, hanging, and tips back in his own shot. Mazder gets to the hoop, kept alive by Pearson. Kicks it out for the three, and that's good for Colton Sandage. Average over 13 offensive rebounds a game. So Iowa's got to be very good on the defensive glass as Murray comes up. Bound ahead for Rabracha for the right hand slam. Sandage has a couple of three pointers, drives this time and lays it up and in. Long three pointer, Barisic was halfway down. And the rebound by Connor McCaffrey. Murray running the lane. Gets his rebound, blocks. Blocked away by Patrick McCaffrey, and now it's Sanford with a two-hand flush. Already the third dunk of the first half here for the Hawkeyes. He's led the way thus far for the Leathernecks with eight points. Gets a step, and able to lay it up and in, even though Perkins from behind swiped at it. See Iowa, though, is forcing the issue. Keegan Murray, the basket, and the foul, the chance for the three-point play for the super sophomore. Egan Murray will try a three and make a three. 16 first half points for Keegan Murray. And now the Hawkeyes will hold for the final shot. Bohan in, puts it up and in as the buzzer will sound and the Hawkeyes will go to the locker room with a 20 point lead. Same five out there for both teams that started as Masner Gets it to bounce in. Eight points for Masner. And if the Leathernecks are to make a comeback here, Masner. Masner will be big. Keegan Murray, my goodness gracious. Bit up fake by Barisic, but coming from behind, Keegan Murray swiping it away. And Tucson is on Barisic again. And able to now get the turnaround over Rabracha. Shot 58% of the first half. Sandage kind of hopping into the lane there. Bohannon, some contact, loses the basketball, looking at the referee for the foul. It's the first on Bohannon. So he has nine points here today. He's become the fifth all time winning scorer in Hawkeye history. And there's a three pointer <laughs> by Colton Sandage. Not much of a conscience for any of these shooters for Western Illinois. They're going to jack it up whenever they have the opportunity as Keegan Murray with another flush. Eulis and Megan, to your point, they will run on anything and ends up being an easy bucket for Eulis and the foul. Massive for this Iowa team to have so many different players coming off the bench and have that talent level not drop. Carry is for three, and he finally knocks one down. He's two for seven. He averages 3.7 made three-pointers a game, as Sanford on the other end is a perfect three of three from distance. Masner with the crossover, gets the step into the lane and finishes with the left hand. Around the perimeter, Patrick McCaffrey. There's a steal, Masner streaking to the hoop. Ulyss lets him go. Flores gets a nice sprint to the hoop there. He wants to go one on one right now. Good pass and a good finish by Dixon. So great awareness by Masner. Masner doubled. Flores stripped away by Ulyss. Ahead to Perkins, showtime for the Hawkeyes. We get good news on Connor McCaffrey, who left earlier here in the second half after it looked like he rolled his ankle, got his leg caught up with a leather neck as an alley-oop. Eulis to Chris Murray. So yeah, I mean, you don't have enough space. We don't even have enough time to talk about it. Carius had that one deflected. They had a stretch where they got a little bit sloppy, had a couple in a row, but other than that, they've done a really good job as Ash off the glass and in. 
Keegan Murray with a third double-double here tonight. Finishes with 29 points and 10 rebounds. Three other double-figure scores for the Hawkeyes.